All right. Today we have another awesome roguelike Unity game that we'll be hacking on called Skull. In this game, we're going to be getting God Mode and Unlimited Power. So we'll start with our health value. And I really just want to show this novel thing that we'll see. But it's this doubly linked list data structure. So first thing we have to do is attach to the process. And then we're going to scan for our current health, which is 100. Oh, right. Very nice. So we're going to browse to this. Keep everything on screen here. And we're going to want to activate our mono features, which will let us get the field names from the debug values. And here's where we're going to step back up. So here we have character health and we have this owner value. And this is the parent structure, which is character. So we're going to take that. We're going to go back up one structure. So now we have character and in here we have character health again. And we're going to actually go up one more structure. So down here we have player components, which is another backing field. I'm going to take this address. We're going to step up one more structure. So now we're up three meta structures. We're in player components, which contains character, which contains health. And here's our 95. This is our current health. We'll add that. We'll also add our max to the list. So here they are down here. And we could change these if we want. We could say both of these are uh, 500. And what's also very interesting about these is we see the pointer. So the pointer starts at this address, which is our player components. <coughs> Here we can see the player components address or a similar one. This might be character. Um, and then from there, we have our first pointer to CO, which is health under character. And then from there, we go down to 80, which is our current health, which is the field we're looking at. So we see this pointer and we see the, the notation where it's the brackets around it, which is the address where this pointer is. And then the next address. So it's pretty interesting, but rather than force these values, we're going to go to another thing within character. There's this field called invulnerable. And we have, a, if we expand this, there's a size. And if we set this size to one, this will actually give us invulnerability. Um, so we don't need to force the health value. And then we're going to do another thing from here. We're going to go up to player components again, now down into inventory and into weapon. And here we have some really cool values like weapon attack damage. And this is a pointer to another value where we have min and max. So we can change our min to be 10,000. We'll change our max to be 100,000, more or less one off. And now we'll have both insane damage, invulnerability, very high health. And uh, we're also going to change. We have this guy, swap ready, this backing field. We'll go there. And we'll add this to the list. And we're going to hard, hard set this to one. So our swap will always be ready. And that will be pretty strong. So now we don't take damage. We have 500 health just in case. We do insane damage on hits. And I guess our swap is not always ready. But we have god mode and super damage. Uh, 
our health went back down, which is why hard setting it probably wasn't the right solution. But the invulnerability certainly is the right solution because nothing can really hurt us here. Oh, that's interesting. This character doesn't get the damage buffs. But this character still does. And the damage is just unreal. <laughs> 